Here is a list of what you will need before starting your template. A roll of paper felt for back marking, duct tape, double sided tape, a weight, a roll of cushion back vinyl, a blade knife, a back marker. For this exercise, we are using a standard G11 section, a sharp pencil or pen, a straight edge ruler, carpet shears, a tape measure, dustpan and brush, knee pads, and personal protection equipment as per site guidance. Before you start, check that no further adjustments will be made to the area and that the following has been checked. Doors are fitted, screeding is complete, the matwell frame is in place and the depth of the frame is suitable for the right type of mat. Ensuring that the matwell is completely clean, clear and free from any obstructions. Lay out the paper felt using double back tape or a weight to ensure it is flat and smooth in the matwell and that the perimeter is left 5 to 10 cm short. If using more than one piece of paper felt, ensure that there are as few joins as possible. Place the back marks using a sharp pencil onto the paper felt. For a straight line, place them every 100 to 200 mm. And for more complicated shapes, place the marks closer together as this will then make it easier to join up later on in the process. This will then be the finished template. Lay the vinyl into a large suitable area, which is larger than the existing mat well. If joins in the vinyl are required due to the size of the mat well, ensure that they are secure with tape and clearly marked, for example, numbers or letters. This is in case they become separated or they need to be reconstructed when in production. Mark out the mat well onto the vinyl. Then using the back marker, mark around the whole perimeter, using a straight edge to join all the gaps together. Remove the paper felt and cut the excess vinyl around the perimeter. Then cut just inside the line so there is a 1mm tolerance, which will enable the mat to fit comfortably in the mat well. Place the template in the mat well and if necessary make adjustments to improve the size. The result of this should be a template sat flat and clear of any bulges or kinks, which is very important. The finished edge should sit 1mm short around the whole perimeter. Once you have followed the steps and are happy with the finished template, mark the following clearly on the top of the template. The direction of travel, the position of the T-bars, any doorways, the site name, the project name, the customer, the date and the product specification, including the colours, thickness and construction. It is recommended that the T-bars are placed in an area that will receive less traffic, for example, at the sides of the mat. To ensure the template size does not get compromised during transit or in storage, please place at least two measurements which span across the majority of the mat. These can then be used by production to check that the template has not been compromised. Roll and pack up the template that you have completed and all the equipment that you brought with you. Package the template carefully to ensure it is not damaged when transported to production.